message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad. 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. People of Lenora, on the eve of your proving, what's that mean? know the Kaja stand with you as the sun's light frames the stoutest trees. As those He's wearing you have a focus, nurtured, just like mine. Take their places among your braves. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half... Drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give them Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? I'm hiding into our lands, right? We shouldn't let these Karja outsiders remove our secret. Carja are honored guests. Makes me sick. It's for the gods to judge the Carja, not me. The path should be left in the past. Perhaps the Carja have come to make a
start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. child but a mother's hope that takes flight a glowing flame that climbs the air set free to the wind sailing the sky till it fades and falls so from one to another passes the chain of love There's Olin. I have some questions for him. I may try to use a to this time. Invite me to look at the card in our life. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> have come to make amends. I won't deny them the chance. God is not judging the Arja, not me. Has Jim left in the past? I like this better the first three times. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here!
Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. Too bad for you that I'm gonna win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Looks like a brazier. 